Hey there, and welcome to MTG Meow, Magic Enjoyed Other Ways. Meow! I'm Scott. And I'm Abby. And today we're continuing our foray into the Metropolis Custom Magic set with our second set of exhibition matches. Yep. This time it's going to be The Privileged versus oh. Cyber Warriors. Oh, okay. So okay. as you can see, I'm playing the Privileged ones here. It's a white-green deck with the Privilege mechanic, which, as you can see on this card, gives me a bonus on something as long as I have more life than each opponent. Mm. So when I was putting this together, basically, again, what we do for these exhibition decks is we just put a lot of the commons and uncommons that have themes together. They're just not necessarily trying to be the best deck or whatever, we just want to get a feel for what the mechanics and themes are like at common and uncommon. And when I was putting this deck together, you know, there's a lot of um, cards that have privilege at common and uncommon in white and green, and a few in black, but not too many, not enough to go for three colors. But what there wasn't a lot of is uh, game, good game life cards. Ah, yeah, that's so, true. So, as you can see when I'm scrolling through here, yeah, I mean, there's the cards with lifelink, like this, but there's not a lot of cards that really help me gain life. So, like, mm. I, I mean, there's a couple of them, like this, like Stirring Pride, I gain six life, but it's just not that great by itself. Yeah. So... Hopefully, we'll be able to, um, you know, see what the synergies are like. It, to me, it kind of feels a little bit like what we saw last time with Hack, where it's kind of cool by itself, but there just wasn't enough synergies to really justify kind of going all in on Hack. So right, right. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same thing for Privilege here, especially when we're going against such an aggressive Cyber Warriors deck with lots of weapons. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll see what happens, see if the Privilege can retain their position. <laughs> All right, here we are for round one of Privilege versus Cyber Warriors. This is our opening hand. It's not bad. We have two of our best, you know, life gain enablers right here with Skill Protector. We have this, our rare, which is Saimurai Blade Master, double strike, and then he's indestructible as long as we have more life, so that's pretty good. We have a decent removal spell here, and we have all our colors. So, I mean, it's not the greatest hand, but all three drops is kind of whatever, but I don't think we can mulligan this. And Abby, you're keeping your seven? Yep, yeah, I'm keeping my seven. And unfortunately, you're on the play, so yeah. go ahead. Here we go. Mountain and wow, one drop. Yep. Silicon Sentinel. So it's a one two and it's just battlefield creature can't block. Alright, not doing a whole lot there. Yeah, it's alright. So we'll untap draw, we got a planes, we'll play that and pass turn. All right. Since we have nothing to do until turn three. And even though we have this on two, it's not gonna do much if we cast it on two. Alright, Abby has another mountain and Rogue Prototype. Just da -da -da. A vanilla two two artifact creature. Sure, fair enough. Get in for one. Yeah. Alright, down to nineteen. Go. Okay, Savvy's not off to the scariest start there, but we'll see what happens. Play our forest, we drew City Councilman. So when City Councilman enters the battlefield, if you have more life than each opponent, draw a card and add two green to your mana pool. Well, we're going to pass the turn back to Abby, since oh. we have nothing to do, since Sounds that's yet another three drop. But as you can see, we've already lost our privilege since we're at 19 and Abby's at 20. So these skill protectors are going to have to do some work to get our benefits back, or else our deck isn't doing a whole lot. All right, you're attacking with these two? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Can't do much about that. All right, go ahead. Oh, okay, so Abby didn't do anything on three there. We do know that she's missing a color. She is two colors, but... Hmm. How do you know? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Draw for our turn. We get a planes. Sure, that's whatever. So the question is, do we play our double strike guy or do we play a lifelink guy? Abby not playing anything but keeping this hand with kind of just two whatever one and two drops signals to me that she probably has some kind of removal spell, so I'd rather play our worst guy of just the 3-1 lifelink first, and we'll go ahead and end the turn there. Okay. Make Abby have to deal with that first before we play <laughs> our better guys. All right, all right. So, we'll see what happens there. Although we are on the defensive, like, hardcore right now, so if Abby attacks, we'll probably trade, and even if we do trade, we'll only go back up to 19, and we still won't have privilege. And speaking of which, she's attacking. Mm-hmm. Um, feel a trick or something but I mean whoa if we just take the three then we could fight back and gain the three but if Abby has a follow-up like if she has a three three or something then the same thing only we've taken the damage so I guess we might as well just block here so we'll block the two two okay is that okay yeah that's fine all right so we take one but then we gain three from lifelink so yep. one two three up to 18 and these guys kill each other yep all right. That's well, it. That worked out well. Nothing else? <laughs> nope. <laughs> huh. Maybe I'm thinking too much into Abby's hand here. Maybe she just kept a bad hand. Hey, anything's possible. <laughs> anything's possible. All right, so let's play planes. We got this guy. Two drop whenever artifact enters the battlefield. We gain one life. And we have this guy as an artifact. We could play this, but then that would be it for the turn. I think... We'll just go ahead and play another skill protector. This way, and pass turn back to Abby. 
So, I mean, again, we might have been reading too much into her hand. Maybe she doesn't have a removal spell or a trick or anything. And if she doesn't, then, oh, here we go. <laughs> so she drew a second color. But anyway, I was saying if she doesn't have anything, then we can start attacking with this. But I have a feeling that now that we've seen Abby's second color come out, we're going to start seeing a few more threatening things from her. And, oh, getting in for one. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the one. Okay. That's 17. All right. We're not going to block with that. And four mana for uh, Enforce Sergeant. Yes. Well, that only costs three mana. Oops. <laughs> All right, so Enforce Sergeant. When Enforce Sergeant enters the battlefield, arm it. So you create a colorless artifact equipment token named Weapon with Equip 2, and Equip Creature gets plus one, plus one, and then you attach that equipment to this creature. So Abby can go ahead and create her equipment token and then attach it to Enforce Sergeant, making it a 2-3. All right, so there's the weapon, and Abby will equip it to this. So this is a 2-3. Oh, that's not great for us. All right, all set? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so we will untap draw and cherubim unit, six mana, four, four, privilege, which does nothing right now. Good news is we're only one mana away from it, but bad news is it doesn't really do much. So we could have target creature control fights. That would only just, that would two for one ourselves. We do have this guy, but that, again, currently he only would trade with the two, three as the two, two double strike. Yeah, we are just not getting a lot of good stuff here. We could play this and this, and then we would gain some life. I mean, that might be worth doing. Then we'd have this 1-3 black back to block the 2-3. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? So we're going to attack with our 3-1 lifelink. What are you going to do about it, Abby? Um, all right, yeah, so I'm going to block, whatever. Oh, okay. All right, so these guys kill each other? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, these guys kill each other. I gain 3 from lifelink up to 20. Your weapon sticks around. And then post-combat, we will play our Tech Collector. Okay. And then, after that, we'll pay three mana to play Saimurai Blademaster, which is an artifact, and so we gain one life when it comes into play, giving us privilege. Mm -hmm. So we will end the turn. Okay. Whew! All right, so it feels good to have privilege again. That means this guy's indestructible right now. And we can, worst comes worst, we can cast this guy next turn, draw a card, add some mana, or if we draw a land and we still have privilege, then we can cast this guy and make kind of an army and go from there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play this guy. All right, play Aerial Gunner. Mm -hmm. All right, so zero one flying, but when it comes to play arm it, so you yes. make another weapon mm -hmm. and you can equip it to him. So he's now a one two flyer. All right, fair enough. All right, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to equip this other weapon that's just chilling here. I'm going to equip it to my arrow gunman as well. All right, makes sense. So it becomes a 2-3 flyer. All right. Pass the turns they go. All right, sounds good to me. We still at 21, still have our privilege, so feeling good. Untap a draw. Nice, Drew planes. All right, so we have our indestructible 2-2 two -two double striker, which would trade with either of Abby's things. And we can't block this anyway, so I think we should just go ahead and get in for damage with it while we can. So we'll attack with our 2-2 double strike. Okay, I'll take four. All right. And then in our second main, we'll tap six mana, and we will play Cherubim Unit. So it has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, if you have more life than each opponent, which you do, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. So we will do that and pass turn back to you. Okay. So let's make a soldier. And let's make another one. All right, so we got our two soldiers. Good, feeling good. Wow, this cherubim unit's pretty good. So just having the four-four flyer to block your uh, two-three flyer is great. Okay, so I got a few tricks of my own up my sleeve here. All right, let's right, so go ahead and play Disagree. Disagree. Ooh, all right. So creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Equip creatures you control gain lifelink. Hmm. <laughs> all right, this is getting interesting. Yep, yep. All right, so we're going to come in for attacks. All right, so with District Raid, that means the Silicon Sentinel is a 3-3, three, three, and the Aerial Gunner is a 4-4 four, four Flyer, correct? Mm -hmm. and yep. The, and Equip Creatures gain lifelink, so your Arm Gunner also has lifelink. Yeah. Jeez, this just got interesting. So we could <laughs> block with our Cherubim unit, but then they trade with each other, and I'm not that interested in that. We can just do this next turn to take care of the Flyer with the Cherubim unit. But either way, Abby's going to gain four life. We'll still have privilege, although no, we won't because she's going to hit us for damage. Mmm, this is a tough decision. 
And the fact that she's attacking with the Silicon Sentinel, it's only a 3-3 when we have the 4-4, four, four, makes me think that she has a trick. So I think what we'll do, just to preserve some life total, is we'll chump block the Silicon Soldier with a 1-1 one, one Soldier of our own, and we'll take the Aerial Gunner. Is that okay? All right, that's how it plays out. Okay, so I take four. One, yep. two, three, four. You gain four, so you go up to 20, and my soldier token's dead. Yep. All right, all set? Uh, yep, past turns I go. All right, so we survived that. Untap, draw. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a good trick. All right, so what I think we're going to do here is first we're going to go to attacks. Okay. So we'll attack with our 2-2 two, two, double strike, and we'll attack with our 4-4 four, four flyer. And that's eight damage, nine. We could put Abby in a two turn clock if we attack with everything. Mm, it doesn't seem bad to me. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's attack with everything. Okay, so that's for 10. That's for 10. Wow, all right, take it down to 10. Yep. Nice, all right, so that means we have privilege again, which is good. So let's go to our second main. And first things first, why don't we play our city councilman? So when City Councilman enters the battlefield, if you have more life than an opponent, draw a card and add two green to your mana pool. So we will do that since we have privilege. We draw our card. It's a Bihelix Laboratory. Very interesting land. It's an artifact land. Also lets us scry. So we'll go ahead and play that tapped. And we add two green to our mana pool. And we'll use that two green to cast Collide. So we will have our Cherubim unit fight your aerial gunner. Okay, and in response... Oh no, I was afraid of this. <laughs> I will outfit it for battle. Outfit it... Oh, jeez. So, so target it's creature like nothing gets happens. Plus two... Well, that's not like nothing happens because this guy's a 2-3. You give it plus two, plus two, so it's a 4-5 and indestructible. So it just kills my cherubim unit. So you just two for one me. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh man, that was good. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, well, we'll go ahead and end the turn. All right. That was, I mean, that was a good turn for us up until Abby had that outfitted for battle. Yeah, I guess, man. I mean, I guess it was a little greedy for us to play Collide, but that was kind of the reason we attacked first and then did the Collide, just in case Abby did have a trick, but I was not expecting such a blowout like that. Yeah, that's what happens when you get greedy, I guess. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> Cybersteed, yeah. Ace Trample, Cybersteed attacks each turn of Abel. Okay. Yeah, why not? All right, fair enough. Are you coming in for beats? Yeah, already coming for some beats. All right. Boom, boom. So everyone's coming. Oh, just those guys? Yes. All right, so if just these two are coming in, what we're going to do is, I don't want to take this hit, so we're going to cast Noxious Gas. So Noxious Gas is prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn, but since we have privilege, instead prevents all combat damage that would be dealt by creatures your opponents oh, control. Oh, brutal. So we will do that, and then we will block your Cyber Steed. So we take no damage in the air from Aerial Gunner, and our Councilman deals two damage to your Cyber Steed. Oh, brutal. Okay, nice. okay. All right, so that worked out for All us. All right, your turn. <laughs> okay, so we will untap a draw, and okay, let's... It's just like a bad sword supply shares, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage total. Yeah, that seems fine to me. All right, let's go ahead and attack with everything so yeah attack with everything all right well i'm gonna i'd like to preserve a little bit of life yeah you first, can do, so. definitely do some blocking with your sentinel yeah so i'm gonna block your city councilman okay so you're gonna trade there yeah we're gonna trade there and i will take uh the, one two three four five six yeah i'll take the six all right you're down to four this is intense all right councilman down sentinel down yep Second main, uh, I don't think we need to do that right now, and we don't need to do this right now either, so we'll go ahead and pass back to you. Okay, sounds good. Oh man, I thought we were I thought we were kind of dead at the beginning there, but once we got our privilege back online, it's been working out pretty well for us with these bonuses. Alright, things are not looking good for me. I didn't really get a great draw this turn, so I guess I'm back on defense. Go Ooh, ahead. Ooh, nice. Alright, so during our end step, we will tap a green and do buy Helix Laboratory, and we will view the top card to scry. Security drone. I mean, that's better than a land. Just a 1 1 death touch flyer. Actually, that's pretty good at dealing with Abby's uh, gunner here. Although, wait a minute. So, if we upload target creatures, controller gains life equal to its toughness. If we do that to this, Abby gains 3, goes up to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, oh, it's not enough to kill her. Alright, so whatever. So, we'll go ahead, untap, draw the drone. Might as well play it. So, we'll play security drone. And we will attack. Yeah. Oh, and since we played an artifact, we gain a life from our tech collector. I may have missed that in something else before, and we'll attack with all our guys that can attack. 
All right, so I definitely have to block here, so I'm going to block this big old fatty right yes, here. Yes, if you don't block the Blade Master, you're dead. Yeah. So you block him. Take yep. two damage, down to two. Yep, down to two. This is intense. All right, and this guy's dead because of double strike. Yep, I tried real hard. All right, go ahead. All right, let's see if we can draw anything good to save my life. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast a Torrent Feed. Torrent Feed, so as an additional cost to cast it, upload a card from your hand. Yep, so you're so I'll uploading upload this planes. Planes, sure. And then you <laughs> upload the top two cards of your library. So, right, let's, so let's. And that'll be everything. You have no other cards in hand, so let's see if you can mount a comeback. All right, and uh, the cards I get are two mounted. Two mounted. So that's uh, the game right there. I think that's going to be it. Yikes. I was hoping that I would have something, but it's all right. No problem. Next game, next game. <laughs> All right, wow. I can't believe we actually got there with the privilege. I thought we would be struggling, and once you got our life total down quickly, we would have, like, nothing. Yeah, but I, with all the life gain stuff that you have... Yeah, we got our, our best life gain cards, these two skill protectors. That was great, trading with your guys and gaining life. Oh, yeah, the, mm. those got those really, really got you off to a good start. So. All right, well, let's see if the privileged can keep their position in game two. Yeah. All right, here we are for round two of the Privileged versus Cyber Warriors. Mm -hmm. Our hand's pretty good. We have a one drop. It's kind of a defensive guy and has an okay Privilege bonus. We have an okay removal spell. We have this, kind of like the worst life gain spell in our deck, but whatever. If we can get this guy out like we did last time, then it'll be great. Yeah, we have some all of our colors, so we really can't complain. And Abby, you're keeping your seven? Yep, totally keeping. All right, go ahead. You're on the all play right, this time. here we go. Put down our planes, and pass turns they go. All right. Sounds good. No one drop. Untap, draw. So we get City Toil. Actually, I take it back. This is not the worst life gain card in our deck. This one is. I was so hesitant to put this in our deck. It seems so bad, but there's so few ways to gain life in the set that I had to put it in. So see if it can uh, overcome its badness. And we'll play Incubating Specimen, 0-3, and pass turn. Okay. <laughs> so Incubating Specimen doesn't seem great. Hopefully it will in quotes, gain us some life by blocking Abby's two ones or two twos or whatever. So like this guy, so Hunter Seeker. So it has Menace, oh great. So we need two creatures to block it. And when it enters the battlefield, arm it, like Abby is doing it right now. Yep. So it's a one, two, and we can't block it. Well, that kind of sucks, yep. all set? Yep, all set. All right, so we will untap draw, and we got substantial upgrade. Okay, that's an okay trick, I suppose. Is there anything we want to cast on two? No. So let's go ahead and get our tap land out of the way. Yeah, these artifact lands just seem so broken to me. I mean, just artifact lands by themselves. We'll pass it back to Abby okay. as we talk about it. But yeah, artifact lands by themselves have been shown to be broken before. But these ones let you scry. <laughs> you know, it's just, woo, seems kind of nutty to me. And Abby has Silicon Sentinel. Yep. Wow, all the bonus one drops. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're going to use its ability on my specimen. Yes, I am going to use uh, the ability from the sil Silicon Sentinel on your incubating specimen. All right, not that you even need to because this guy is Menace, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's something to do. So we're going to come in for beats uh, with the uh, Hunter Seeker. All right, and I guess we'll take one. <laughs> well, we lost our privilege. Da -da -da. That, was, that was quick. <laughs> all right, fast turns they go. All right, so we will untap draw. We get a forest. Forest is okay. I mean, we do want land so we can get this cherubim unit, but we really need to do some other stuff before then. I guess we'll go ahead and play the forest. We might be able to use this. We might have to, to, to take care of this or something. But I am just not super thrilled about that. Although we could do this and this, which could be pretty good. Although Abby has two mana open, so we're not going to do it right now. We're going to go ahead and pass the turn back. All right. So this incubating specimen might be uh, doing some stuff next turn. We'll see what happens. Oh, really? Abby said her land drops. <laughs> yep, hit my land drops. Have anything scary to cast? Uh, let's see here. So, all right. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to cast nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Yep. So four mana, enchant creature, gets plus four, plus O, and has menace. So this guy has menace, <laughs> and this guy has menace. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's a way we could do this. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Yep. Okay. All right. So Sentinel is now a five-two with menace. Uh, yep. And we're coming in for beats. All right. Sounds good. So both of them coming in. So what we're going to do is first we are going to cast substantial upgrade, give plus two plus two to our uh, incubating specimen. So it's now a two-five, and then we are going to cast collide. To have target creature fight another creature. So we'll have our incubating specimen fight your silicon sentinel. Okay. So the 2-5 fights the 5-2. 
Is that okay? That, I guess that's fine. So we trade three cards for your two cards. I guess it's okay. And we don't, of course, draw a card when this thing dies because we don't have more life than Abby. But we take one damage from your Hunter Seeker. Yes, you do. All right, so down to 18. All right, Ugh, your turn. So that felt horrible, but <laughs> we had to do that or else we were just going to get run over. We didn't over. have to. I mean, we did or else we were going to die, basically. So City Toil, currently four mana, gain one life. Yeah, that's oh, so bad. I guess we'll just go ahead and pass the turn. Well, all the, right. I mean, what we're planning on doing is next turn we'll cast Stirring Pride, and then the turn after that we'll do Cherubim Unit. So we're going to, the reason we didn't cast this this turn is so that we could scry with this. And oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, I, I'm going to go ahead and cast Cyber Steady coming for Beats, since I know so, you don't have anything. Yeah, 5, 6. So I take 6 down to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, all set. Yeah, yep, all set. Go ahead. All right, this is even a sorcery, which is just even worse. But anyway, we'll scry with Enforce Station. View the top card. It's a tap land. Yeah, uh, so do we want the tap land? That way we could be guaranteed to play this guy on six mana, but we're going to take six again next turn. I just don't think that's good. Enough. We need to just draw something. <sighs> Maybe this is greedy, but I'm going to put it to the bottom because we're going to gain another turn with this anyway. So, All right, so let's untap. During our upkeep... I think we're going to scry again. And again, this might be greedy, but we need to find something to do here. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, we will keep that on top, and we will draw. And then we'll play three iron planes for three mana and cast Skilled Protector. Okay. And we'll pass turn. All right, sounds good to me. So that's a good one, because that can block Cybersteed. It has to attack, so it's not like Abby can choose to keep it back. And then if we gain the three life, we go up to 15. And we could even gain the 6 life, go up to 21, and we could potentially have our um, uh, privilege back next turn. All right, so Abby's attacking. Yeah, come in for beats. All right, well, again, this plays around tricks pretty easily because she has to attack, but she still might have one anyway, but we're going to block. you have anything? Uh, no, so they just <laughs> trade. All right, so they trade. I take 1, but gain 3, so I take two. To, uh, gain 2 up to 12. Yes. All right, so these guys dead. Yep. You have a follow-up? Uh... Nope. Go All ahead. right. Well, good for us. So, I wonder what's in here. You have three cards and you're not doing anything. Right. All right. You can, so be, have, you can be curious, man. <laughs> so we have Sewer Skinner, so Death Touch and Privilege as Hexproof. I mean, just having the Death Touch guy is pretty good. So we only have five mana, so we'll pay the double green to cast Sewer Skinner. Then I guess we'll go ahead and get this over with now, and we'll cast Stirring Pride to gain six life. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, up to 18. So that way, next turn, if we draw a land, we can just cast this guy. And we'll pass the turn. All right, sounds good. So how many creatures do we have? We have one, two creatures in the graveyard, and then one creature on the battlefield. So this thing would currently gain us three life. I mean, if we don't draw anything next turn, we might just cast this, go up to 21. Although Ivy's going to hit us down to 20, and then we might have privilege again. We're going for one. Take one. Okay, go so ahead. He's got menace, so we can't do anything about it. So untap, draw. And Institutional Inertia. All right, that's really good. That's like a good overrun if we have privilege, but we don't. So I guess, yeah, this turn we're just going to go one, two, three, and four. And we'll cast City Toil. Okay. Four mana, gain three life. One, two, three. Oh, okay. 20. Yeah, great cards in our deck. And we'll go ahead and attack for two. All right, I'll take two. All right, down to 18. All right, we got our privilege. So go ahead and end the turn. Okay, all right, so on tap. Draw. Oh boy. Man, yeah, this is a, uh, I mean, Abby has six mana and four cards in hand. I wonder what's going on over there. Oh, well, things, you know. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast a pre-crime agent. Whoa, all right, so that thing costs two less to cast if you control an artifact, so it's two, three, first strike. Jeez, that's yes. really good. Yes, it's very good. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to come in for come in for, one? for one here, but however, you oh, have no. privilege, and I don't like that. Um, no, our plan. <laughs> so, so we're going to go ahead and outfit it for battle. Okay. I mean, it gives a plus two, plus two, so I take three instead. Yes. One, two, three, down to 17. Great. So, I mean, that's bad that we lose the privilege, but I'm glad that Abby's using the trick there rather than, like, to kill one of our guys in combat. All right, your turn, Sego. All right, come on, land. Untap, draw... Eh, city councilman, blech, God, that's not good. 
Well, we'll go ahead and play it. I mean, we might as well. So we'll play City Councilman. Doesn't do anything since we don't have privilege. And we'll just stay back on defense, I guess. Stay back on the D. Sounds good. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we really wanted to land there so we could play this. Or maybe another way to gain life so that way we could, you know, later turn we could do this. But we're kind of on the defense now. Road Rubble. Oh, Road boy. Rubble. Here comes the, <laughs> this is what I was expecting to see. So here comes the more beats from Abby. So when it's the battlefield, you arm it, and it attacks each turn if able. Pretty good. Yeah, Road Rubble's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and we'll arm this guy. All right, so there it is, all nice and equipped. So you coming in for attacks? Oh, let's I see mean, here. I, now I have two blockers. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get in for some beats. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, so this means Abby has something. Question is, how do we block here? I guess, I mean, the 2 3 first strike and our 2 3 death touch, we gotta block there. And since we're already blocking with one, we can't block the menace. So, yeah, we'll just do that. What are you gonna do? Okay, well, I don't really like your death touch, guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sit and. <laughs> punch a hole in it? Yeah, I'm gonna punch a hole in it. So, so. there's three damage to target blocking creature and you scry one. Yes. Oh. yes. All right, so sewer skinner down. Yep, sewer so skinner down. We'll punch down. Let's go ahead and scry. Let's see what we get on the top here. All right, so that can we can put back to the bottom. All right, so you're putting it on the bottom? Yeah. And we're taking one from the Hunter Seeker? Yes, take one. All right, take one. All right, and past turns I go. All right, so during your end step, we will scry with our land. Your top card, it's planes. Yeah, I mean, again, we're, we don't have the privilege, but I think we want that anyway, so we're going to untap draw, get our planes, and then we will tap six mana to play our Cherubim unit. Okay. And since we don't have privilege, we don't get our things, but whatever. Past turn. All right, let's see what we can do here. So this thing will block Abby's First Striker nicely. Hunter Seeker and Road Rubble. Road Rubble has to attack, so at least we'll be able to deal with that. we we'll go ahead and play Rogue Prototype. Sure, the vanilla 2-2 two -two artifact guy. Yep, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, we can come in for the attack. All right, everyone's coming in. Go for the beats. Oh, God. All right, so do we have to block here? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage. But we can attack back for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Hmm... Abby has one card in hand, four mana up. She has to attack with this. Maybe she's just attacking with everything to hide that she doesn't have a trick. I think we can afford to take one, two, three. I think, yeah, let's, we'll take five here. Is that okay? You'll take five? All right, yeah, sure. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Down to 11. All right. Fast turn to so, go. It just, it felt, it's too strange for Abby to be especially attacking with, like, the pre-crime agent there. I think she had something, so. And this, we want a lot of creatures in play. It's, like, our only way we're going to win, so we want to see if we can make it work. All right, Tech Collector, sure. I mean, it's a creature. We'll play it. And if we're not going to block with Cherubim Unit, do we attack with it? So if we attack with Cherubim Unit, that means Abby down to 14. Let's say she attacks with everything. The next one we can attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. So I think that's fine. So next turn we'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. All right, we'll attack with Cherubim Unit in the air for 4. All right, I'll take 4. All right, 4 down to 14. Mm-hmm. And go ahead. All right, my turn. Oh, boy. So we're playing a little risky here, but again, I think this is going to be our best way to win. And we're just playing to our outs here. So Abby got Twin Blade Shinobi Double Strike, uh, so she's going to have at least one blocker. Mm -hmm. Unless we can draw some sort of removal spell. So who's coming in for attacks? Everybody. Everybody again. Yeah, she definitely has something here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go down to four. But then we can attack for a bunch in the air. Well, let's see what we have on top first. So we're going to scry. So let's view the top card of our library. So we have this district ranger. It's plus one, plus one, we get more life than an opponent. It's better than a land, but that's about all I can say for it. But a two, three does block all these things nicely. So I guess we'll keep that on top. Hmm, yeah, what do we do here? All right, well, now that we know that we're drawing the 2-3, I think we're just going to play it a bit more defensively, see if we can slow down Abby a bit. This might be bad, but maybe we're just scared of a card in our hand that doesn't exist. So we're going to block the 2-2 two -two with our 2-1, and we'll block the 2-2 two -two with our 1-3 here. So we'll take 1-2-3 damage? Yeah. All right, cool. So 1-2-3, and these guys trade. Your Road Rebel's dead. Yeah. City Councilman's dead. And Tech Collector lives to see another day. He lives to see another day. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to equip my Twin Blade Shinobi. Sure, with the discarded weapon. Exactly. All right, makes sense. All set? All right, all set. Okay, so we'll go ahead and untap, draw, draw our 2-3. So the question is, I mean, we're going to play it. 
So let's play our District Ranger. Doesn't do much right now. Let's go ahead and scry, see what we have on top for next turn. Maybe this will inform our decision a little bit more. Riot Mod Trooper, that's, that's not bad. So if we attack with our Cherubim unit, then Abby's down to 10. And then on the Crackback, we could make this kind of the same blocks that we made before. And then we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, we're kind of getting in with this Cherubim unit, and then we can kind of surprise win with this later. I mean, yeah, I think we'll just do that. So we'll keep that on top. Okay. Attacking the Arrow Cherubim unit. I'll take it. Down to 10. Mm -hmm. And we'll pass the turn. All right, sounds good to me. I think, is this working out for us? Maybe. I mean, we're going to take a hit, but I think we might be able to pull... All right, so I'll be attacking with everything again. So we will block... Um, we'll block the 2-3 with our 2-3, and 1-2-3-4-5. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just block here, and we'll take 1-2-3-4-5 damage. Is that okay? Oh, no, here it comes. Uh, systematic, systemic strength. So Shark Kitchen gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. And double strike. And double strike, and I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. Whoops, we messed up that game. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe we made a mistake trying to be a little too defensive there when we switched strategies, but Abby had a new creature every single turn. I so did. I just don't think we would have been able to get in because this thing doesn't give trample unless you have privilege, so I just don't think it was going to work out if we were trying to get aggressive. But anyway, we'll see if we can take it back in game three. Let's do it. All right, here we are for round three of Privileged Ones versus Cyber Warriors. So we're on the play this time, which is good. And we have a decent opening hand here. We have our Rare Land, which is good. So we have pretty much all our mana problems are great. We also have this guy, Iterant Walker, four mana, five, five. But when it enters the battlefield, you have to upload a creature you control. But that shouldn't be a problem because we have some, uh, I mean, not the greatest creatures ever. This guy in particular just seems, ooh, four mana to tap a creature. Jeez, seems expensive. So not too mad about uploading them. And having a five, five out seems good against Abby's deck, so... Anyway, you're keeping your 7, Abby? Yep, keep it All up. Right, well, we'll play Genesis Reactor and pass turn. Okay. Sounds so Genesis good. Reactor, if we get to... We're going to have to have 6 other lands, so 7 lands. Sacrifice it to gain 10. Seems pretty good. That could put us back into privilege mode if we need it. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so we will untap draw. And we get Street Enforcer. Ooh, good, a 2 drop. So we'll play a Forest and go ahead and play our Street Enforcer. It's currently just a 2-1. Okay. So the next turn, I think we'll play Council Attendants, and depending on what Abby does, we'll either upload the Street Enforcer or the Council Attendants to play Iterant Walker. Oh, geez. Here's the Twin Blade. <laughs> All right. Yep. That's gross, but whatever. All yep. set? Yeah. All right. So untap draw, and we got Stirring Pride. Okay. Stirring Pride's whatever, but I think I'm much more concerned about getting this guy next turn. So I think we'll play our land tap tier. And I think that's going to be it. So that way next turn we can play this guy for four mana and upload this. So we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. And if Abby's willing to attack with this thing, we can take a hit. Or we might be able to, you know, do something else. We'll see. All right. And for Sergeant. Oh, geez. All right. This thing again. So it's a 1-2. It becomes armed and it becomes a 2-3. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty so good. 1-4 is looking pretty good here. Even if it does have a horribly overpriced tap ability. All right. Coming in for beats with the Twin Blade. <laughs> Excuse me, Shinobi. Yep, and we'll take two from Double Strike. All right. All set? Good. Go ahead. All right, so we will untap draw. Incubating Specimen, sure, that's whatever. We'll go ahead and pay four, and we'll play Iterant Walker. So under the battlefield, we have to upload a creature, so we will upload our Street Enforcer. Okay. It gives us a 5-5, five, five, and end the turn. Sounds good. All right. So next turn, we're at 18, so we can play this, get Privilege, and then we could, if we draw land, no, we can't play that. But we could play Incubating Specimen, or we could just put this guy back in our hand. We'll see what happens. Nothing to lose. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> Resolves. All right, all right. <laughs> so that gives it plus four, plus O, oh, and Menace. So this thing's a 5-1 Menace Double Strike. Ouch. Ooh. And we don't currently have any way to deal with that aside from tapping it down. Oh, boy. Coming in for beats? Uh, of course. Coming in for the sweet Shinobi beats. <laughs> Take 10. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down All right. Eight. Your turn. Thanks. Oh, my God. Just when I thought we might be pulling ahead. So we have Sewer Skinner. 
So what can we do to survive here? We need, so this thing not only has it, does it have menace, but also has double strike. So even if we play something like incubating specimen and we double block with walker and specimen, it still just first strikes away the walker. It also has menace. And, well, I'm saying even if we double block with them. Ah. So there's no real way that we can kill it. Is there a way we can just survive? So that way we can start tapping it down. So we play this for three mana, and then we have one mana left over, and then we can then we can play Incubating Specimen, or we can gain six life, go up to 14, and still play, but then we still have no way to deal with it unless we draw some sort of removal spell. Oh, geez, this is bad. So I think we're going to have to, yeah, even this thing would uh, death touch it doesn't really mean anything so I guess we're just gonna have to do this feels bad but we're going to play a uh, council attendance okay this might be a quick game and then we'll play incubating specimens okay and pass the turn all right sounds good to me so this is currently our only way of dealing with this disgusting menace right now uh, we'll just have to pay four mana to tap it each turn while Abby builds up her army oh geez this is gonna be a tough one to win all right what are all right, they so we're gonna use firepower Firepower, so one minute sorcery, arm target creature you control. Sure, let the shinobi get bigger. Oh, that's really bad, actually, because... Well, it doesn't have a weapon, you know? Because, well, I was thinking, you know, instead of just that stupid plan that I had of paying four and tapping in each turn, I could have just double blocked with these two. You'd first strike away the walker, and then I would kill... The council tenants would kill this when they dealt one damage to each other. And sure, I would two for one myself, but whatever, if that meant dealing with it. And yeah, sure, rogue prototype, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. now that this thing is a 6-2 double strike... Even if I double block, it's not going to kill it. So, unfortunately, we have to stick to the bad plan of tapping it down. So, yeah, we have to uh, double block here, or we are just dead. So, we'll double block with these two for Menace. All right, sounds good. And you'll uh, kill both our guys, I'm yep. guessing. Yep. <laughs> All right, all set. Sounds good to me. Go oh, ahead. Boy. So, we will untap draw, play a planes. So, we have to keep up four mana, tap this thing down. And we also have to play something so we don't take a ton of damage, but we have nothing that costs one, because that's all the mana we'll have left, so pass third. Okay. <laughs> so we're still going to end up taking one, two, three, four here. Oh, geez. So we need to draw something, either a, like a good removal spell, or some other way to deal with this thing next turn, or we're just going to be dead. So we are going to cast oh, no. the rare of my deck. Oh, geez. Lock and load, friends. Lock and load. So arm target creature you control, then arm it again. That creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. I'm assuming you're dealing it to me. Yes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight from the other things, and I'm exactly at eight, and this is a sorcery, and yep, we're dead. Boom, here. boom, dead. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. You know, after game one, when I when we won, I thought I might have actually stood a chance against you, but then you just decimated us. Well, yeah, the shinobi just got out of control games. really Yeah, quickly. the shinobi got out of control. We really needed to draw, like, um, viral fame here to upload it, get rid of the thing on it, or our, um, you know, our collide or noxious gas. Yeah, or noxious gas was nasty Some way to deal with it. Game. But instead, in those games, we drew, like, city toil, which is, oh, it just makes me shudder with how bad it is and yeah. shudder, stirring pride so bad. But yeah, and one thing that I noticed about Privilege when we were playing this is you know, having the ways to gain life is good, so that way you can have a higher life total than your opponent. But another way to guarantee that you have a higher life total than your opponent is by attacking them and lowering their life total. I, I mean, it seems obvious now that I say it, but it didn't really hit me until we started really playing the games with it. So maybe it's not as um, static of a mechanic as I thought, kind of requiring lots and lots of life gain cards. So mm -hmm. just something to keep in mind when we go into the drafts and sealed. Speaking of which, yes. that's the next thing we'll be doing. So since Abby and I have gotten uh, you know a little bit familiar with the commons and uncommons of this mm -hmm. set and kind of the themes and mechanics, what we'll be doing next is doing a sealed deck with Metropolis. So be sure to check that out and let's see how this custom set fares when it's time to build a sealed deck. Sounds good, see you then.